Good day friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and today we're going to make a sweet keychain using Lightburn and the Artur Laser Master Pro 2. So let's get cracking. Alright friends, so this is part two. Earlier we cut out this shape. I attempted this, but it got stuck in the knot. Today I changed my settings and was able to cut through just perfectly, so I'm going to show you how to make this keychain. Friends, remember this wood is awesome. It is from Recovered Pallets, and then I simply run it through the table saw. The batch we are working with today is about 6.9 millimeters thick. I keep trying to get it closer to 5, but hey, it's working at 6.9 millimeters, so we're going to just keep rolling with it. All right, friends, so here we go. Magic keychain time. I've added my awesome text. I picked the font I want. Friends, with this shape selected, I'm going to go to Tools, and I'm going to do Offset Shapes. I'm gonna make sure it's set at three, press okay, and bam, we have got a keychain shape around the outside. Now I wanna cut a hole. We're gonna do that over here with the circle tool. I'm gonna to hold shift and I'm gonna drag it and I want it to be size five. I think right there that is size five. Boom, nailed it. Now we're gonna use that same offset trick to add some room around it. Once again, it is tools offset. I'm gonna keep the three and tell it okay. Bingo, we have got the keychain holder on this edge. So let's grab this and I'm gonna drag it up where I wanna connect it. So I think that is gonna look pretty sweet. Now I'm gonna click on the hole and I'm gonna move it for a minute just cause I wanna use it in a second. I'm gonna nudge it out of the way with shift nudge. So I just nudged it down. That way I've got it the exact amount I want. I'm gonna do shift nudge again with the words so I've got them the exact distance I want. Now I can grab these two shapes and I'm gonna make sure I've got them entirely selected and I'm going to do tool and I'm going to do weld. So now it is one awesome piece still set up as blue. Now I can grab these two parts and I'm gonna do shift nudge, so shift up arrow and they are exactly where I want it. Just like that, keychain assembled. Now if we go to cuts and layers, so if we check this fill, it is the pink one, 3,000 instead of 100, I'm gonna do 70 and it is gonna be one pass. And then of course down here on the line, I've got it set for 550. I'm gonna change that to 500 just cause I wanna be sure that it gets through. And I'm gonna bump it to six passes just in case. Once again, this wood is your mileage may vary cause it's off a pallet. Alrighty friends, so we have got the laser aligned everything's in place i am gonna put on my goggles and let's cut out an awesome little keychain i'm gonna close my cover i'm sorry you guys miss out on the view it does give me the bonus of not having my garage filled with smoke And friends, there we have it, a simple keychain. Let's see how well the Ortur Laser Master Pro did with this fun little project. <laughs> All right, so the great news, it sliced through like butter. Interesting news, I might have forgot to change the setting for my roller because it does not look like that axis is making circles like it's supposed to. But doggone it, pretty fun project and pretty quick. So my friends, there you have it. Pretty simple steps to use the Ortur Laser Master Pro 2 and some reclaimed pallet wood and light burn to make some fantastic keychains. Of course, friends, if you're interested in any of the products, you will find links down below. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you have a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you wanna be the first to know when this brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.